Hello YouTube! In this video series I'm going to show you how to relocate user profiles to another partition or disk in Windows 7. The method that I'll be using is audit mode. Audit mode can only be started and used when doing a fresh clean install. So if you already installed Windows 7 you can only use this method if you're going to go ahead and reinstall Windows 7. Moving both users and program data folders is safe and can save a lot of space on your system hard drive. As you might know, pictures, MP3s, videos, documents, and so on can take up a lot of space under your, your user profile. Let's see how much mine takes up. Now, I have already moved my user profile to my E drive. Okay, so this takes up 226 gigs. Yeah, that's not going to work for me. I have two 32 gig hard drives. I have two SSDs. And combination of those two, I have 59 gigs that I can use. And I only have 9 gigs free. So yeah, there's just no way. There's no way I can run Windows 7 under my configuration if I didn't move my user profile. So, uh, and the way audit mode works is you're going to need this text file. I'm going to go ahead and copy this over. You'll see this below the video. Go ahead and copy that and save it. You're going to save it as an XML file. You can name it whatever you want. Save it under a root, uh, under the root of a thumb drive. Right now I, I saved it as relocate. Click that all file, save, bam. Okay, there's a couple things you might you might need to change if you're running a 32-bit version of Windows. You're gonna need to change AMD64 to 32-bit. If you are running a 64-bit version, you can go ahead and just leave that alone. There's a couple other things we need to change um, right here. Depending on where you want to move the user profile, I'm moving it over to my E drive, so I'm going to leave that as E. Another thing you might need to change is the source of Windows 7 install. I'm running a Windows 7 DVD disk, and that's under my D drive. Um, another thing you might need to change is where it says Ultimate. There's a couple different versions of Windows. Let's see, there's Home Basic, Home Premium, Professional, Ultimate, Enterprise. Whatever you're running, you're going to need to overwrite where, where you see Ultimate. That's pretty much it. In the next video, uh, we're going to be, you're going to see how I install Windows.